All right, shout out me out, Sharala. Back again with another video. Before I start, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who still go out to the hours and bodyways and feeds the sheep. And peace and bless you, mercy, mercy and, and power to your Akimah there, push the chief of the four corners of the earth, and boldness is righteousness and sincerity. And uh, I just want to. Uh, Going to this topic about the fear of the Lord, you know, because it seems that um, uh, the fear of the Lord in this country, in this rulership, is um, is uh, how should I say, not effect, man. Uh, you know, a majority of these people out here don't fear the Lord, man. You know, so I'm going to look up that word fear, man. That word fear is a uh, <clears throat> so like it's a verb. It means to be afraid of someone or something as likely to be dangerous or painful. It's like here's a cat right here. As likely to be dangerous, painful, or threatening. So if you if you're um uh, like if you're afraid of Yahweh Shimon Shah, you won't go off. Like for example, hey like like like, like uh, sin is the transgression of the law. I think it's first John three and four tells you that. That sin is transgression of the law. So, you know, in order to love Yah by Shimon Shah, because the love is the keeping of commandments of Yah by Shimon Shah, you know, and you would fear him, man. You would fear Yah by Shimon Shah with all your heart, man. Just like the uh, the men of the Lord that go out there in the highways and hedges, man. You know, that um, we live by fear every day of Yah by Shimon Shah. That's why. We ask for forgiveness and stuff like that, and we try to rehearse the righteous acts, you know. So, so um, we know that if we do something that's against Yah by Shimi Al Shah, that it's gonna, it's gonna, um, he's gonna fuck it, slack it, ooh, slack it. Uh, he's, gonna, he's my friend. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna, uh, how should I say? Uh, he's gonna uh, afflict you. He's gonna afflict you. In judgment, man. Pretty much, he's gonna uh, he's gonna mess you up, man. You know, uh, judgment, so to speak. Judgment, you know. So, um, so, um, slack it, <laughs> slack it. Let me go into the scriptures, man. Uh, slack it, uh, slack it. I know who y'all are. You know, y'all know who y'all are. Uh, this is um, Sirach chapter one, verse eleven. The fear of the Lord is honor, <clears throat> slack it, and glory and gladness and the crown of rejoicing. So the fear of the Lord is honor, man. So when you fear the Lord and keep his commandments to the best of your ability, you're showing honor to Yahweh by Shimon Shah. You're showing that you want to receive that crown and that everlasting rulership and that everlasting um, life, man. You know? And it's like it's going to get that anyway, but we, we want to go... When the first go around, man, we want to be the first round draft picks, so to speak. We want to get on the chariots, man. But if it be the word of the Lord that we got to die for it, then, hey, it's an honorable death, man. That's honor, man. You know, what's an honor to Yahweh to um, uh, uh, have Yahweh shot, go through all the things that he went through. And then now he's he's the main heir of all. He gave power to Yahweh by Shimon Shah because he said that was honor, man. You know, being a martyr is... Uh, Stand up. So now, for that example of Yahweh shower and the other prophets, you know that um, were being martyrs for this truth, um, through, the, through, the, through the fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and faith, we gotta um, walk in that walk in that way, so to speak. You know, we have to we have to um, we have to. Uh, how should I say, man? Well, my words are, my words are slipping away here, man. Uh, we should. Um, I'm going to say, we're going to have to walk in the paths of the prophets, pretty much, man. Through, through the fear of the Lord, you know. Because we fear the Lord, man. <clears throat> we fear the Lord. That's why we try not to go off on purpose, man. Like, for example, uh, if you go to the store, right, like, and you buy some turkey sausage. And, you know, you know, you think it's turkey sausage, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, it says pork casing on it. And so you're like, oh, man, it's got pork in it, man. Oh, my gosh, wait a minute. You know what I mean? You try to throw it away. I got a testimony on that, man. You know, and Esau, he's such a devil that 
he tells you that it's turkey sausage, but you got pork casing over it. Like, that, that's been the devil, man. Why would you put pork casing over a turkey sausage? You know? But through the fear of the Lord, we were like, oh, man, like, like I had, like, I, I, I'm not going to lie through my ignorance. I ate the sausage. I ate the sausages, but, but that was before I knew it was a pork casing, though. So, but, but, so when I went back to try to, uh, try to get him again, I looked in the back, and then the, the spirit was on me, said, look closer. I looked closer, this said it was pork casing on it. Man, I was, I was so afraid, man. I was really scared. I was like, oh my gosh. Y'all by Shimon Shah, Baba Kasha, Salake, y'all by Shimon Shah. You know, I was scared like the whole entire week. Because I fear the Lord, man, because I didn't mean to eat that pork. Because the last thing that us, you know what I mean? Like, like people that sincerely wants to please y'all by Shimmy Shai, we don't want to go off, man. We don't want to do anything to anger him further than what he already is, you know? So I'm going to get another scripture. I'm going to get, I think it's Proverbs 1 and 7. <clears throat> Slock you. Proverbs 1 and 7. This is uh this is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So when you fear the Lord, you know, it's the beginning of you getting the wisdom and the understanding of the scriptures, man. Because you know, because the examples, you, you get the examples when you read the stories of how prophets were when they feared the Lord and how Yahweh Shema Shah delivered them, man. Uh, the scripture, like the scripture says, the things that was written before time was written for our learning, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, but fools despise wisdom and knowledge. And it's like it. But fools despise wisdom and instructions. So fools despise wisdom and instruction, which means that they don't like the Isaiah one and three. They don't consider, man. They don't care. You know, they don't care anything to know about the scriptures, man. They don't care anything to know about Yah by Shimi Al Shah. They don't just don't care to know. They just want to do what they want to do. You know? Uh, I'm gonna look a couple of words up. I'm gonna look a a, a fool. Fool. Oh, this is a fool. A noun. A person who acts unwisely and or unprudent or unprudently. A silly person. This is the synonym. It's an idiot. So an idiot, man. You're an idiot, man. You're an idiot despise the wisdom of Naji by Shimi Asha. You're an idiot if you don't fear you how by Shimi Asha. You're an idiot, man. Like I was telling one of the brothers, man, you know, these idiots, these fools that don't believe in Yah by Shimi Asha or don't fear you by Shimi Asha are way, way, way more crazier than psychopathic people or serial killers that kills 30 people. You're way more crazier than them. You're way more crazier than them. You know what I mean? Uh, an ass, blockhead, a dunce, uh, let me see, an imbecile. Let's click on imbecile. Oh, slack, yeah. Ooh, I clicked it on moron. Um, an imbecile. I like that word, imbecile. Um, an imbecile. An imbecile. A stupid person. So, I think the word, if I'm not mistaken, let me, I'm going to look it up. But I think the word stupid means someone who lacks knowledge. Let me see. Uh, yep, yep. Stupid. An adjective. Having or showing a great lack of intelligence or common sense. So, a person that lacks intelligence or common sense is a person that doesn't figure out by Shimi Al Shah, man. As the scripture has says. And then for that, for not following y'all by Shimon Shah and being stupid, like Jeremiah 4 and 22, 22 says, and um, that you be by you being stupid like that, and then by 2 Corinthians 15 and 13, you were going to get put to death, man. You're going to die a grievous death, man. A grievous, grievous, grievous death, man. I think grievous means uh, harsh or serious. Let me see. Yeah, slack. Yeah, yep. The grievous. Of something bad, very severe or serious. So something that's very, very serious, man. You're gonna buy, you're gonna die a very serious death, man. You're gonna die slow. You're gonna feel every inch of affliction that your by Shimon Shah puts on you, man, for not fearing him. You know, you wouldn't fear everything else, but you wouldn't fear Yahweh Shimon Shah who created you, man. And that's right there is being stupid.
which stupid means showing of a, a, a common lacking common sense or intelligence. You know, you could be intelligent in anything else, but if if you're not intelligent to, intelligent enough to figure out about Shemuel Shai, hey man, now all that and that worldly that worldly intelligence that you learn are gonna come to naught, man. So I always want to make that lesson of fear of y'all by Shemuel Shai on fear, man. So I hope this was edified. I hope the audience was edified. Whoever watches it. Uh, and I want to give all a course. Call Lord Yala Yah by Shemuel Shai. Hallow with Yah. You know, all praise to Yah by Shemuel Shai. And double honor to your apostles and elders, a great millstone. And peace and blessings and mercy to your eyes. I'm not there preaching the truth for the four corners of the earth to these stupid idiots. Shalom, shalom.